Uh, but here, to get these bindings, like I said, you need this 45 degree angle. And again, I lucked out because I have squares on here, I was just able to cut roughly a 45 degree angle by following corner to corner of the pattern. Okay, I did a little measuring. I, I think I have enough to cut these two inches, so. So there's my bindings. Um, So now what you do is you decide which it would be your inside and outside and on mine of course doesn't really make much difference. So we'll work on the inside here and you take your little binding and let's not start with that other one. So you um, make sure you have your seven and a half inches. Hopefully this will work. And you pin this along this edge here. So I have the right sides are together so this is going to be my binding. You're looking at this seam right here. That would be the seam that would be right in here. So we're going to sew here and then when you open that up that will be that seam. So you put your right sides together and because this is cut on the bias it will um, stretch a little bit and you'll be able to get that around this curve here. We're only doing a quarter inch seam so I'm only going to need to sew you know right close to that edge so if it's bundled up over here it doesn't really matter. Let's keep all your edges together. Um, this machine sews over the pins really nice. I My machine at home uh, doesn't as much so I tend to pull them out but this one I've been sewing right over the pins. As long as you keep the heads of your pins, you know, far enough out to where the foot of the sewing machine can get through there. Um, it works pretty well, so it holds it in place. And the more pins, pin, 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 especially on these curves, and then you'll end up with a nice seam. Um, this is a nice pattern. It goes together really easily. I'm not a big curve binding sewer, but I'll tell you what, this has actually been pretty easy. I wouldn't say for a beginner sewer, but if you've ever sewn a blouse and put a shoulder into a blouse, this is way easier. <laughs> way easier, because of course the blouse isn't really cut so much on that bias, um, so you really have to work that in there sometimes. Uh, so this is a lot easier than that. Okay, so I got... Oh, am I going to have enough there? To go over... Yep, I should. Alright, well I'm going to have to kind of just kind of fake it there because that's a little short. But I got to the edge here. So I'm a little short over here, but it'll be okay because of... You know, I still have this seam here to sew up and that'll be inside. That'll be down inside here where it might be a little short. So, Okay, now I will sew a quarter inch around there. And uh, we'll put the other piece on the other side. I would pin it, but I don't have enough pins. So I have to sew one and then come back and pin it. So I have this set on about a medium. This, this machine goes from 0 to 8 as far as stitch length. So I have it set on about four, and I'm not using any zigzag right now. And I am just using the edge, I have a, a zigzag foot on here, and I'm just using the edge of that. It does have marks, but... And I am um, doing a back stitch uh, at the ends of my sewing to keep things from unraveling. So like I said, oh... So 
So again, you know, you just, not again, but you, you let the machine feet, you know, pull your material and you just turn it. You just kind of drive. Okay, so I've sewn a quarter inch seam around that curve. Now I'm going to take the pins out. Okay, and now when you flip this over, there's the outside of your pouch. Oh, and guess what? I did it backwards. I remember I wanted this to be on the outside. Mm, it's not. It's on the inside. So there. <laughs> so when you have your uh, contrasting materials, that's probably a lot easier. I, it doesn't really matter. So I also like to keep all of my threads trimmed. So now inside here you would uh, curve this in and lay, you know, and make your, your binding and then we'll hand sew inside here. Okay, so I'm gonna pin and sew that one and uh, I'm gonna cut out and do the same for this one and then we'll, I'll come back and I will show you the next step of how to close the pouch up and uh, 